Now, it completely baffles me why players are not doing this every week and trying to get 3,000 white scripts and 2,000 purple scripts. It takes 5 minutes and should be your top priority every single week, even for beginners, crafters, and gatherers. And the big catch is, you don't even have to beat the end game to benefit from this. You can start as early as level 50 with your crafters and gatherers. Today we're talking about custom deliveries. Now I know some of you may already know what they are, but I recently came across a few in-game friends that say something like, I know they're good, but I just forget to do them. Well, I'm going to show you a foolproof way to make this as easy as possible for you every week in order to maximize your script's potential. Let's start off with what they actually are. These are weekly turn-ins to specific NPC vendors that are story related in some way. The really cool things are that some of these are an extension of the main story or follow up on main story themes, which is a total plus in my book. As well as some of them are just little side stories that are very warming to the heart, which Final Fantasy XIV is really good at doing. Now, as of right now in Endwalker, we have a total of seven custom delivery NPCs with more on the way hopefully soon. Once unlocked, each of these offer a crafting, gathering, or fishing way of turning in these custom delivery items. This is great because then you can focus on different parts of crafting or gathering depending if you like crafting more or gathering more. I will leave a link in the description box that will direct you to a page and tell you how to unlock each of these as it would take a long time in this video. While you're down there, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe as it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Now I recommend unlocking at least two of these as quickly as possible as you only need two to start reaping the benefits of custom deliveries. Each week, there will be custom deliveries that will offer you bonus scripts, which you can get from any one of these NPC vendors. I myself always prioritize doing the bonus scripts over the regular as that's how we're going to hit some of these amazing script numbers. You will still get thousands even if you do regular with no bonus but you want to unlock all seven as your chances of getting the bonus scripts on certain turn-ins are higher for either crafting or gathering. Once you unlock these NPC vendors, you will have to spend a few weeks leveling them up. I know that's a bummer, but these are very easy quests that do not take long at all, maybe just a few minutes each week. Once you have the NPC vendor fully unlocked and upgraded, you will get the entire menu unlocked with the bonuses. You also will be able to glamour each of these NPC vendors, which is awesome, as you can get really creative here. Here's a screenshot of someone glamouring Charlemald in the new optional items outfit. This gets me every single time. Now actually getting the unlock quest to get to these NPC vendors can take a little bit of time, maybe up to 30 minutes or so, but this is one of those activities in the game that once you unlock and fully upgrade it, you are reaping a crap ton of benefits and scripts every single week, which helps you get ahead when new expansions drop and new script items come out. Usually scripts when new things come out are the best at the current moment until following crafted gear comes out. An example of this being is the current end game food needs purple script ingredients and getting 2000 right off the bat puts you leagues above those who will have to manually gather turn ins for those. Let's talk about some of these rewards that become monumentally easier to get by doing these every single week. If you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced crafter, you're going to need master recipes from the scripts vendors, which literally cost thousands and thousands of scripts. But if you had your custom deliveries done at this point, you would have gotten almost 3,000 right off the bat and would have been able to buy three or four master recipes. The amount of time alone it would have took you to get 3,000 white scripts, more than enough pays for this. You need these master recipes to craft some of the coolest glamours in game and the most current end game items. For gathering jobs, you need folklore tokens to complete your gathering log. You'll need again thousands upon thousands of scripts in order to purchase these folklore tokens as the current folklore for Endwalker requires 16 tokens per book, which works out to 1600 scripts for 9 books. You can figure out the math from there. Still leveling your other crafters and gatherers? Well, you can pick up revised engineering manuals, which will increase the amount of experience you earn from crafting by 150% for up to 2 million experience. This will make leveling them so much easier, and you should prioritize these manuals if you're still leveling. 
You can also buy gear, materia, orchestration scrolls, really the list is endless. And these are all gonna be beneficial to your journey here in Eorzea. Even if you're not a quote unquote serious crafter or gatherer, you can be staying ahead of the curve by doing this activity every single week and it's totally worth the time. I hope you see this as your final motivation in order to get out there and finally unlock some of those NPC vendors for those sick, practically free scripts. I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters as if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to put out regular content like this. If you would like to support the channel and its content or just join my public discord, then you can find that link down in the description box down below. If you want to watch more Endwalker tutorials, then you can click here.